chicken, spices and a beautiful aromatic coconut broth all come together in this pot roast. This essentially is a curry, a nyonya curry to be specific. And instead of cutting the chicken pieces into eight pieces, I'm going to cook the chicken whole. It's really interesting. It's such a fun thing to do for a whole group of people. Now, first we need to cut our onions. So just slice them, one large onion for this. And I'm also preheating a large oven safe pot. You need it to be oven safe because we're going to start the cooking process on the stove top and then the rest of the cooking gets done in the oven. Now I'll add some oil, just some vegetable oil and we'll start sweating off our onions. So just break them up in your hands to separate it. Now we'll give them a mix just to coat them in that vegetable oil. And as they're softening, I'll get onto the ginger. So about a three centimetre knob. We'll cut into fine strips. You can mince this in if you like, but because this is going to be cooking for quite a while in the oven, it will start to break down. Great. All right. That can also go into our pot. I will add just a small amount of salt and we'll give that another mix. Now I want to give this a few minutes to soften up. In the meantime, we'll start preparing our chicken. So one whole chicken. I have brought this chicken out of the fridge about one hour ago. I like to bring it to room temperature because it just gives us a nice even cook. So out of the pack and we just want to pat it dry so there's no excess moisture. And we'll add that in just a minute. We'll just add a few more ingredients to our onions. Some spices cinnamon and star anise, really just reiterating the flavours that are in our curry paste. Now I love Nyonya curry paste. It has a combination of many different spices, tamarind, ginger, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to use a whole jar of this paste, so 185 grams of this. And you do want to cook off your curry paste because all of the ingredients in here are raw. This is going to mellow down the flavour of this entire curry. So do this stage first and we'll just turn this onto a medium heat and give it a stir. Now I just want to fry this off momentarily. In the meantime, I'll get my potatoes ready. I love the addition of potatoes to this. They almost act like sponges. They're going to drink up all of that delicious curry paste and the coconut milk that we're going to add later on. So we'll cut these into four. You don't want to cut them any thinner because they need to cook in the same amount of time as the chicken. So big chunky pieces of potato. And these are Desiree potatoes. I like to use waxy potatoes for this so they hold their shape throughout the cooking process. Great. Now we can add our tomatoes. So this is cooked down. It's starting to split. The tomatoes have lots of water in it, so they're going to help make a yummy sauce. And we'll coat them in all of that nyonya curry paste. Really happy with that. Now for some liquid. We'll add some chicken stock. You could use water for this if you like. And 270 millilitres of coconut milk. This is going to give us a really nice creamy sauce. Now stir that and just allow it to come to the boil. This has come to the boil so we can add the remaining ingredients. So the potatoes along with two handfuls of frozen peas. Now for the chicken, we'll add to the sauce and just coat it so the flavour is on the base of the chicken and then just exposing the breast side. Now we're ready to cook this in the oven. This is going to cook for about 45 minutes to an hour at 180 degrees. I don't need to turn this because this is like a mini oven. The heat's gonna circulate around it and cook this chicken nice and evenly. The chicken has come out of the oven. I've allowed it to cool for about five minutes. And now for the big reveal. <gasps> looks so good and it smells fantastic. Now, I like to serve this whole just to show everybody that we've cooked the chicken in this delicious sauce. So carefully lift it with a slotted spoon, drain off some of the liquid and then into a shallow platter, just like this one. Fabulous. Now we need to add the potatoes and the sauce and have a look at these potatoes. They've completely changed colour and absorbed all of the beautiful flavour from the curry paste. We'll add that to our dish just around the chicken and a few more on the other side. 
and don't forget those peas. Because they've cooked for such an extensive amount of time, they've become really mushy. So we'll just carefully put them around the dish. And then this aromatic broth, I'm using a ladle for this. We're just going to pour some of that broth over the chicken and almost form a pool of curry juices. That is so delicious. You could eat that as is because we've got the potatoes or even better with some rotting.